members. Whoa, check it out. A new challenger is ready to brawl. Ready? Go! Lightning can! Round one. Ready? Go! Lightning can! 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 Lightning 
Yo, hello everybody. Welcome to Super Saturday's Deluxe July 2nd edition. Uh, I know we just ran a KOF set without commentators. That's on us. We're gonna we're getting another commentator in here soon, and boy are we in for a wait right now. I think there's some 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 people uh, in Marvel at the same time who are gonna cause us some problems. And uh, yep, yeah. Leon Ultimate is in winners uh, semis, I think, of of KOF. We're gonna play winners finals next. If assuming big if. He doesn't go back to K uh, MVC3 first. That game started earlier, so they do need to finish. Oh, do we have a set? James Jr.? Did Oh, did James Jr. win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we're going to get James Jr. and Brightside up here. These two. So I haven't followed Chicago KOF super hard. I run my own local, and it's kind of... Small, we got a couple KOF players. We don't have the full scene. Um, these two, if I remember correctly, played at the last Super Saturdays. It went James Jr.'s way. And James Jr. and Brightside were like in a league of their own. It's James Jr., Mooney Blues, and Brightside clearly just playing a different KOF than everyone else. And that's a good thing. I'm saying that in a good way. Um, James Jr. plays about half the cast through Legacy Knowledge. Uh, Brightside stuck to his team. I want to say he's got um, a, a Robert, a Yuri. I don't. I don't know what his team is in the new patch. It's been a patch since since I last saw them. But. Um, this this should be a good match. These guys are gonna gonna hop around. They're gonna press JCDs and JDs and JCs. They're gonna JCDs nuts and it. I think this is I think this is gonna be some some pretty good KOF. Who we got? Oh yeah, set the buttons first. Don't even don't even pick a character first. Okay, they're good. All right. Was it James Jr. who had an Isla? No, that was that was Mooney Blues last time. Who do we who do we got? What are the teams? Cronin, of course. New patch. Cronin, Yashiro. Thinking about Ryuji, Yamazaki. Yamazaki. All right. All right. This is team this patch. Yamazaki, I don't think is so, you know, in, in the meta right now, but Cronin and Cronin McDonald's and uh, Yashiro are both very strong this patch. On the other side, we got Benny, Shermie, and Elizabeth. Shermie, A plus character right now. Her 2C is, is a god button. Elizabeth, crazy. I want to say slight buffs only, or maybe a slight nerf from a, a like borderline top tier character in the last patch. And Benny is Benny is moving in this patch. He gets to do stuff after super. He gets he gets some really neat combos. I I think this is th these are both very very strong teams in this patch. The only character I'm like unsure about is Yamazaki. And I think he's still pretty nuts. Um. I want to say Brightside's rocking. Uh, yeah, Brightside's rocking Benny. Oh my God, the two C. This button's insane. No confirm because unconfirmable. But he didn't buffer either. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, caught him. Nope. No counter hit, so no combo. Yeah, backing up. Cronin JCD is so good. Hits so late. Uh, so many active frames. Yep, hopping over. That uh, 2 and 4B is crazy. Cronin is slightly minus and gets to backdash or DP and play RPS. That's a great punish. D D EX DP is an extremely good punish. Beats all options. Oh, good combo. This is going to be big damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. One more touch. EX command grab combo. 
Uh, I don't think this does it. Yep. But James James Jr. got a lot of meter. Yeah, going in with two bars is about where you want to be. I think this is this is a pretty good look for uh, James Jr. despite going down a character. But bright side, bright side's in the driver's seat. Let's see what Yamazaki does. Uh, Yamazaki with meter like this can definitely uh, like two touch characters off the poison super. Okay. JCD. Hold. Good, good, uh, good to be confirmed. Oh, yep. Yeah, plus after the stance cancel. Ooh, great JCD. Looking poised to finish this. One more, one more touch. Ooh, great. I think he's gonna get all that health back. Maybe just a sliver left. Sitting on a ton of bar. Didn't spend any as Yamazaki. Yeah, just a sliver. And, and now, now James Jr. is in the, the driver's seat. Even though he's got that slight uh, life difference, the meter is worth so much in Kayla. Ooh, great sweep at them. It's just unpunishable at that range. Ooh, good. Obviously hard to confirm, but I, I think if there's anything I want to see from James Jr., it's not ending in the, um, the like, whip hand move, the point four. Oh, great counter. Ooh, no. Yeah, it's just a little bit tough as, as Yamazaki. You got to land a little bit lower with the jump normals if you want to get that combo. Oh, that's not quite it. I think he needed to do... Um, 6B, 6B might have comboed there. Wow, and he's just gonna win this off of like a ton of neutral interactions. No combos, just a ton of neutral interactions. Ooh, great. I think, I think James Jr. kills off of any touch now. Level one poison into level three uh, is, is death. Or uh, max confirm. Max confirm level two, level three would also do it. Ooh, great roll. Ooh, not gonna do it. Yeah, I think I think if there's anything wrong with Yamazaki here, it's just that it's just that he's getting a ton of jump ins and they're leading nowhere. Oh, command grab that zero frame. Mashes it all. Doesn't have to mash at all though. Oh yeah, not full mash. Hit him with the stein. Perhaps slightly disrespectful to mash, only to level three out of four. See, let's see. Uh, let's see what adjustments Brightside can make. I think, I think he's got to mix up his uh, aerial timings. Definitely, definitely could be air to airing a lot of the stuff Yamazaki's doing. And then he's got to watch out because uh, James Jr. is going to adapt pretty quick. And uh, Yamazaki, Yamazaki doing that uh, that snake hand all the way up is going to be real rough. I think it's two and four, uh, two and four A. Ooh, great. Brightside's Benny looks really good. One more touch. Oh, okay. Cronin. Cronin McDonald's going in. That's a good combo. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage for half a bar. Oh, this. Oh, I think that could have killed if he was close enough for DP. Yeah, double, double, double uh, 5D. Close D, close D OTGing on, off of itself is pretty funny. Oh, that's it, yep. S slides right under the uh, 236. Now Cronin gets to go in on Shermie, and I think this is probably Cronin favored, although I don't know the exact matchup specifics. Cronin's jump is uh, one of the one of the better ones for fighting against uh, Shermie, Shermie's 2C. 
And then uh, he gets to outrange her in a lot of situations. And this is a huge damage. This is a rough situation to be in. Oh, goes for the anti-air, but he's he's slightly plus, so he gets to he gets to jump and get out of the way. This is this is why Cronin's like the considered the best character in this patch. You can play him at, at basically any position because he'll he'll use your meter extremely efficiently, and his his GP is insane. His KCD is crazy, and also his. His conversions are just there. Woke up with EXDP, trying to juggle into a, into another DP. Bruh, this is this is not looking super good for for Brightside. But he's he's got meter stock. If there's a way to do this comeback, he he two touches for like one bar on each touch, maybe two two bars on one of them. Oh, poison! Kick him while he's down. Yeah, get over there. Oh, just whiffs for meter. What are you gonna do? Come in and contest that? I know Elizabeth's got nothing. Oh, almost. I knew. Punish. Poison. Ex stomps. Not nah, regular. I think Ex could have killed there, but this is gonna be more than good enough. Yeah, I think I think what Brightside's gonna need to do is he's gonna need to find his own pace. Right now, right now he's really trying to find the gaps in James Jr.'s, you know, speed. James Jr.'s playing at a certain timing, and he's like almost caught on to it, but he's just he's just letting himself fall into it instead of uh, trying to throw a wrench in it and switch to his game plan. Really important, especially with the, with characters that the characters he's got. Benny, Benny is uh, really good at controlling the pace. Uh, Sher Shermi definitely gets to just dictate when interactions happen in a lot of matchups. But right now he's he's just letting James Jr. run and run the show. Yeah, chopping around, not trying to commit. Oh my gosh, that 2C is huge. Oh, DP, yep, second one. 6A, good meaty. I think he counter hit a back dash, that's why he flipped out. Ooh, good DP. Yeah, I think, I think right side. You need to be a little bit more careful with his pressure. Ooh, good throw. That's it? Yes. Nice. All right, Bright, Bright Side takes the first round again. Now, Yamazaki's going to have three bars, and the life on Bright Side is not a lot. He's going to have to make this count. Draw it out as much as you can, build some bar, and just just try to try to rack up a little little damage. You know. Oh, good wave, but two two C or two D definitely not the punish you want. Yeah. No no half bar reversals, no meterless. So he, he wakes up with super, and it's good this time. What do we got? What do we got? Jeremy. Oh, come on. Where's the command grab? Let me see, let me see you grab him. Scoop him. He's doing a really good job of blocking. I, I think you just got to scoop him somewhere here. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what you want to see. Switching corner a bunch, a lot of guard cancels. Ooh, good guard cancel punish. He's gonna stomp him back into the corner, yep. And now he's gonna get a little bit of Oki. Oh yeah, just sits there, holds the stance. Yeah, whiffs his, whiffs his uh, reversal. Now Brightside's in a little bit of trouble. He's gotta take a deep breath. Let Elizabeth play at her own pace. 
I want to see him. He's he's got. They're not quite fireballs, but the projectiles should be pretty good if he's gonna sit in stance like that. Ooh, good punish. He snuck right past the the high uh, high snake. He's dead off of any touch. Right side just needs to get one. Ooh, okay, okay. That'll, ooh, not quite. Any touch, any touch. Okay. All right, James Jr., probably still advantage, but this is two bars to one. Ooh, three bars-ish. Yeah, three-ish bars to one is probably gonna be James Jr. favored. But I, I think Brightside just needs two good neutral interactions. There's 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 one, so maybe 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 three good neutral interactions. Ooh, that's gonna do it. He's he's got huge Oki, and although this isn't gonna kill, this is guess for game here. Oh, good job blocking it out. Right side's gonna have to answer back, and he cannot put him in a guess for game scenario here. Not unless he gets a meterless combo. I think I think if he builds half a bar, then then anything into max kills. But right now it's not gonna. And uh, yeah, James Jr. just takes it. I think that was the first we saw of his Yashiro today, and um, good confirms the the CD whiff dash punch into another one. It's huge. Uh, his level one into level two for guess for game. Obviously, it didn't 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 guess right. You know, oppo opponent opponent blocked it out, but that's huge. Definitely need those as Yashiro. I, James Jr. again feels a little bit untouchable to me. He's I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to do it today. Uh, it looked like looks like it wasn't bright side, but we'll see if he makes it back through losers and gets another chance. Up next, uh, do we know who we have? We're checking on it. Um, we have Zendo. We do have Leon Ultimate. Okay, yeah, Leon Ultimate and Zendo. This is uh, Losers Semis, I believe. Quarters. Ooh, okay, we got a little bit of a Losers run, but we'll 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 bring it all to you. Who, do we know who's waiting after this? Um. Oh, Pro Mesa. Mm, I do not know this player. Um, Leon Ultimate last patch did pretty well at the last Super Saturdays. I want to say he played. I remember his K-Dash. His K-Dash was super sick. Um, and I remember Zendo playing um, Meitenkun. But I don't remember the rest of their characters or um, you know what they had going on. We'll, we'll see in a second who they're on in this patch. Things are pretty different this time around. But I can't, I can't imagine you play K-Dash in the last patch and you don't play him in this patch. So we probably are seeing K-Dash again. Same thing with Mei Tenkun. Mei Tenkun is pretty dang good in this patch. If you were if you were willing to play the last version of Mei Tenkun, you probably want this one. Who do we got? K-Dash, Mei Tenkun, Blue Mary, and oh right, I forgot his Leona. I don't remember if he played Blue Mary before, but his Leona was pretty good. I think these are both pretty solid teams in this patch. Blue Mary, Blue Mary's a little bit um, cheesy. I won't say she's bad or anything, but um, you know her, her slide's not the um, free win tool a lot of people thought day one, where um, you'd slide under a bunch of jump ins or under a bunch of projectiles. A lot of people aren't doing that. Uh, you know, it, it was newer KOF players who were playing a different kind of neutral than, than what you're supposed to that were getting eaten alive by that move. It's still very good. I won't say it's bad or anything. It's just not what everyone thought on launch. Ooh, okay. Right into it. Wow. He's playing right at that range. Counter it. Pushes him all over the corner. Breaks the throw. Oh, bad DP. Now we're going to see a combo. Kula does pretty good damage for meterless, yeah. One more. Almost stunned. Almost anything will do it now. 
Okay, Kadak, Kadak should a little bit, a little bit further from stun now. Gonna, gonna be safe to press a little bit more. Oh, good, good confirm. Mixes him. Kadak does pretty good damage. Yep. Oh. Yeah, Cool is gonna go down there. I think he, I think he wanted a DP. Looks like, looks like he kind of knew he needed a DP out. Maybe, maybe in retrospect he realized it. Oh, takes the, takes the high, goes low. Sleepy boy tossing, tossing his pillow around. I think the last thing you want to do as Mei Tenkun is play as the aggressor. Nice, nice, good flash kick. I think that was supposed to be a safe jump timing, but he messed it up just a little bit. Um, streamer, I think it, it says winner's final still. Um, Ooh, good, good like confirm off Blue, as Blue Mary. Oh, but he doesn't finish it after that EX. He got a couple of options. I think he might have uh, run into the decision of whether he wanted to spend one meter or not. Command grab is going to get in. Command grab again. Safe jump. Command grab. Oh, no. Yep, this is good damage. Only only one bar for the kill, and it's perfect. I, this is a matchup. Mei Tenkun, I think, is, is supposed to struggle in a little bit because that slide can go under the pillow. But, uh, we don't even get to see that much. It's just, just Blue Mary jumping around with J, JCD. Okay. Let's see some suplexes, too. Yeah. Thrower. Catch it. Yep. Really good damage for two bars. Oh, he baits the spot dodge and then doesn't punish it because he's in the air. I think I think if he wanted to bait that, he needed to hop back. Man, Blue Mary's command grab is so deceptive because she she's hopping at you. That that's like what people do in pressure in KOF. You gotta jab at this all the same. Oh, great DP. Yep. I don't think he wanted to uh, pop pop Max there, but um, you know he's not down by a lot, so he can get he can absolutely do it here. Throw the earring, man. Earring is so good to approach behind. Oh, this will do it. Yep. Yep. Harness the Orochi power. Let's see it. Yeah. Man, a little bit anticlimactic. Her her, uh, her climax. She just stabs you and sits there for a second. Oh, I think what Sendo's going to need to do is find the ranges he wants to hold and, and you know contest them a little bit more. There's a lot of there's a lot of sitting there, pressing one button, or um, you know holding pressure. You know nu neutral hops, neutral jumps with uh, with large jump buttons can, can hold a lot of space. And his, some of his characters do have good buttons that like reach and catch hops. Jeremy 2C, for example, is very fast as an anti-air. Ooh, no, not gonna, not gonna pick all the way up. I think you need the EX, the EX uh, kick to do that. Pressure is really strong from K Dash when he's when he's uh, summoning that little flame wheel. He's got so many different follow-ups. You don't know what he's gonna do. Interesting. I think you are the correct answer there is to DP through that. I don't, I don't think you're supposed to hold that. But uh, Le Leon Ultimate just lets it rock this time. That'll do it. Leon Ultimate is starting to run away with this one because that's a lot of his health still left, and only only about a bar difference here. You'd hope you'd hope when you get uh, you know uh, a relatively quick one that you get at least a hit or two in so you can build some bar. And Zen Zendo may maybe got one, and it, it wasn't very clean. There was a lot of chip damage in there, not a lot of. Um, not a lot of the damage was from some real hits. Oh, good, good up, up pillow. Nice. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, this might do it. Oh no, no. Okay. I thought he could have gotten another hit or two into level one. This will. Neederless. 
And Leon Ultimate having no issues with the input inputs that K Dash demands of you. He's a monster. Ooh, good anti here. Wow. Yeah, Sh Shermie just had no clue what to do here. It's not every day you fight a K-Dash, but he's probably fought a million Shermies. Super plus here. Almost guard broken. Oh, and this, this should do it. No, it doesn't. I think he could have DP'd into Super. I think he was going to build it. That'll, that'll do too, though. Leon Ultimate 2-0. Uh, I think he's gonna be playing again, actually, but we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. Let's see. We're, we're gonna have what, Leon Ultimate in the... Um, you said his tag earlier. I, didn't, I don't remember it. I've never heard of him before. I feel bad. El Promesa. Sitting in loser's semis. It's for fourth. Loser gets fourth here. Let's see what we got going on. The Inuyasha T? What we got on there? Is that... Who are, who are those characters? I don't recognize that lanyard. Is that Love Live or something? Oh, and he's got charms? This guy, this guy's animated up. Nothing wrong with that, but... Checking your buttons. Sure it's all right. Yes. Wow. Something tells me he wants to play team, just straight up team Southtown, but Billy Kane sucks so bad in <laughs> this game that he can't. I feel so bad for anybody who played Billy in the last game, but I also want to say, or not the last game, he wasn't that good in 14, right? But, you know, any any legacy Billy players, let's, let's say. Um, Billy Kane's been pretty good in the old games. It's fine that it's fine that he got toned down for once, but jeez, what they did to him is not fair in this one. Let's go. All right, let's. See. Oh wow! Right out of the gates. Let's see what his geese can do. Oh, good, good. JCD covers a lot of space as geese. Definitely one of the one of the moves that that is uh, makes him more playing. Oh wow, Kara Kara um, 6B. Yep. Oh, misses his Kara. He definitely wanted to Kara that the ground grab. I cannot come up with a single other reason to whip that move there. I didn't know you could Kara until like, he did it just a minute before. Yep, gets the knockdown at the end of that DP. Oh, and this will kill. Rest in peace, geese. Go back, go back to where you were before. Whatever happened after you jumped, jumped off the top of your building. Ooh, old school Ryuji. Yamazaki looks, Yamazaki looks really good in this game. Both versions, if we're being real. Oh, corner to corner. Drop him with it. Plus frames. Plus frames. Okay, spends the meter, doesn't want to get guard broken. It was real close there. is going to have about mm, three quarters life here, and he's got a slight meter advantage, so this is still probably in his favor right now. Ooh, okay. Oh, wish the command grab slightly too early on it. Throw protection wasn't over. Yeah, that slide is, he just lets it rip, dude. Yep, main grab again. This might do it. 
Oh, not quite. Doesn't have, doesn't spend the extra bar. What do we got now? Upper Mesa is going to need to make something happen. And just runs into the JD. I think he's looking to, looking to air to ground with that one. He needed to air to air. If there's, if there's an anchor in this patch, yeah, it's Yashiro and Cronin. These guys are crazy in this patch. Yep. Aw, oh, hit him with it. OTG. Oh, yep. This'll do it. Spend ha another half. And that's it, right? Doesn't need to spend the full. Yep. Gonna be about even on meter? Oh, no, 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 about down a meter. Yeah, I am. Oh, wow. Frame trapped him with that. Ooh, goes for the fake safe jump to try and throw him and gets thrown himself. Ooh, crazy guard cancel. Leon Ultimate's about to run out of quick max. Oh boy, 2B5A two, two whiff. Man, this character's cheap. That lunge is so good. She's what, slightly minus? Slightly plus? I don't remember. It's, it's by enough that it's really ambiguous whether you should try to press afterwards. Oh, we're seeing we're seeing Yamazaki on point. He wants to do, make Geese do more work. His Geese put in a lot of work in the last match, if I remember correctly. Yamazaki didn't do so much. See how it goes this time. What is the adjustment here? from El Promesa. Oh, good. Oh. Big corner carry, too. Yeah, all the way. Ooh, whips that meaty. Poison super. Stomps. Yep. Throw him back in the corner. Gets a meaty. Ooh, slightly mistimed it, but. This'll do. No? You could have, he could have EXed. I know the combo's hard, so I'm not gonna fault him for it. I was playing this character a little bit when he launched. You can do the, the EX snake hand. It sucks him in, and then it's like a one or two frame link into uh, uh, 5A and 2A. And then you can do um, 623B, and that's that, that would have that killed there. I think I think you needed to go for it or um, go for the easier route for more damage, which is uh, EX236 uh, punch. Now he's now he's in the blender. Wow, just whiffing buttons in his face. El Promesa just too scared to do anything. Wow, catches him. Leon Ultimate is running away with this match again. This is the second time he had a really close game one and then K-Dash came through and, and clutched it out. Oh, baited it. What? <laughs> no punish? That move's so minus. Okay, Yashiro is gonna take down K-Dash. Let's see if he can make it through Blue Mary. It's a little bit of an uphill battle, but it's definitely still doable. Yashiro's gonna, gonna have to two or three touch Blue Mary. Not spend too much bar. Ooh, that links? That's pretty that's a pretty neat juggle. Spending a lot of bar on these confirms. 
this will do it though? Oh no. Oh, and makes him makes him whip the spot dodge. He's in he's in prime position to make this happen now, but he doesn't have a whole lot of meter, so he's gonna have to play at Leona's pace to start. Oh what? Oh my god, he keeps tapping with that. After that lunge, there's this mix where he's you have to guess if he's gonna flash kick or if he's gonna tap you with 2D, which Max confirms to death at most most lives. Oh my gosh, no, that's not what you wanna see. But almost no punish again from Leon. Oh my gosh. Oh, that no combo. Anybody's game, guard cancel, throws the earring. Great hop to get over it. Covering a lot of space with his jump normals. Um, no kill. Oh my gosh, he takes so much chip from these. Oh! Absolutely insane finish there. The the crazy flash kick. Um, quick reminder to everyone, Chip kills in this game. So when he's tossing those EX earrings, they took a chunk off. They do a lot on, on block. That is, a, that is a great way to try and chip someone and force them to come to you. I think I think even at the end, with the with with him this close to, to getting uh, the run back, you know, this close to getting having it all taken away from him, he still had the wherewithal to realize that he needed to pull him into it. He needed to like get Yashira close, tossing the ex earrings to Chip, and then uh, what honestly was a crazy flash kick um, paid off. Wow, Power Rangers. I'm right behind him. I do not remember. Can you check for me if this happened in bracket earlier? Right side versus Leon Ultimate. Losers finals. If I'm not mistaken, they did not play earlier. That's what I thought. Yeah, they're on opposite sides of the bracket. So, um, I want to say, though, that this did happen at the last Super Saturdays. And... Um, it was a pretty close match last time, if I remember correctly. I think Leon Ultimate has not changed his team for the new patch. Right side going back to his Robert, um, who we saw in the last patch. Robert is quite good, but he's just a really fair, honest character by KOF standards. He's the... Um, it's a good analogy. For you anime players, he is the he's the Ragna the Blood Edge. He's just doing nothing special. He's just got some neat stuff and overhead, you know, a, a DP, whatever, but overall he's just he's just playing honest nooch. And now he's now he's already in the the blender, goes for a crazy DP and right as Leon Ultimate backs off, so he's actually not gonna be able to punish. Oh, counter hit that, that it could have been a confirm. So hard to do, but in KOF, when you get that counter hit on um, the jumping normal, the, the, the juggle points uh, work out to allow more. Great, uh, great, great blowback. This is big damage, and we're gonna see, oh, slightly mistimes it. That's huge plus frames in the corner. So many options out of that. It's so hard to remember what exactly he's going to do, and he finishes it off there. Right side, got Shermie out. We saw Shermie versus K Dash earlier with uh, Leon Ultimate uh, fighting against Zendo. We're going to see how this one goes. Right side's definitely. You know, controlling the, the, the pace of the match a little bit better. But it's so hard to Shermie when you know that you're the one who needs to get in. 
I won't say she can't get in, but some of her tools are really good as anti-fireballs, and then K-Dash creates that that little spiral in front of him, and he doesn't kick it at you, and now it's not a fireball. Or, um, you know, she she jumps at you, and he's got that thing out, and he, he kicks it up into the air, and now, now he's gonna juggle and get a, get a great anti-air combo. Ooh, wakes up with the EX command grab. She's airborne really quick from that, so even though it's not a true reversal, it, it, it'll hop a lot of lows and it it beats uh, command grab attempts. Wow, that did so much on the stomp. And now Brightside's in control again as we move to Leon Ultimate's Leona. I will say this though, Leon Ultimate has four bars, so he can kill relatively few interactions. Although now he's now he's starting to get in a little bit of trouble. This is about do or die time. Oh no, he whiffs that. All right, do or, do or die time. Something into max kills. Oh, not quite. That's such a hard pickup. All to get, all to get full, full dash into sweep. No kill, but we're on pixel. Guess for game. Oh, and it's the overhead. Leon Ultimate taking a second. He's gonna need to. He's gonna need to figure out exactly what to do to make Blue Mary work, because Leona definitely definitely struggled a little bit at the end there, but she she could have made it happen, and we've seen it, him do it before. But his Blue Mary looked really really rough against uh, Sherman. I mean, it was just a, a very quick uh, round. Oh, great JCD. I think JCD pulls K-Dash's hurt box up slightly, so he gets to hop over those fireballs with impunity. Knocks him down. What's what's going on? What's the mix? Plus frames. Does it again, more plus frames, but he guard cancels. Got him in the corner. Oh, oh that's real tough to finish. Oh! Not quite enough to punish the roll. Robert's lights are not quite good enough. Ooh, wakes up with, uh, that was the EX kick, and he's not gonna get there in time. I wonder if he was looking for a low to crush with the uh, air, uh, airborne frames. This kills, no? Wow. All right, all right, but he is gonna slide in. Robert's only response there is to DP, because I think the chip was good enough. Blue Mary versus Shermie. This, this is where he had some trouble last time. Shermie steamrolled him. He's gonna need to... Oh, good DP. Oh, slightly plus on that slide, I think, because it hits so meaty. Oh, resets him into the command grab. Re command grab again. Nice, uh, nice roll to get out of there. D DP, crazy. Goes for that that's uh, that meaty slide setup and he rolls out. Now he's taking big damage. This is not looking so great. Level one? No, doesn't go to level two. That's it. All right. No matter what happens here, this isn't over. This is losers finals. This is going to be a first to three, but. Leon Ultimate is definitely not gonna wanna go down 0-2. He, he spent a, a half bar? On what? He didn't wake up with the EX flash kick and spent a bar? Oh my gosh. He's just disrespecting him now. Leon Ultimate, you need to enforce the mix there. Wow, this is it. Huge stomp, kills. 
Shermie looks like she's having so much fun when she breaks her spine. I, I, I cannot think of another character who is so violent and also so happy at the same time. Honestly, I'm, I'm sure the freaks on Twitter are all about that, but no opinions here. All, all I'll say is it's nice, nice to see that there's a character like that. Oh my gosh. AJ, please. They've, they've got pizza over there. I'm on commentary and they got pizza and I need it. I don't need it right now. I just need, I just need to know that there's pizza saved for me. I'll die without that pizza. Blood's on your hands, AJ. Uh, our grateful streamer man, AJ, is walking over. Ooh, hits him with the... Not quite good enough. This is huge, by the way, if Brightside takes this round like this. Any touch, yeah. Now, now Brightside has got a pretty substantial lead here, I would, I would say. This is uh, huge. There's plenty of pizza, he says. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I hop off comps after Grant. DX flip, DP. Good knockdown. Plus slide. I like that setup, but every character with a DP can do it, and you can see it from from a mile away. Oh, what? No, he's got to know you can't go for that. It's 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 just a DP after that. That Tatsu is so weird. Punishable every time, though. Command grabs? Oh, no. No command grab. Hopping back in. If Robert takes this, I I, I don't want to call it over, but it's going to be really tough for Leon to finish this. Oh, slides under. That was the EX, I believe. What is he doing? No. Hits, hits him just a little bit too high, so the throw is good enough. Wow, DP connects. Can you just run up and then blow back? Oh no. Robert has almost no help. So this this will be a quick kill if he gets it, but he really can't afford to give up too much health here. Oh no, dive kick, flash kick, flash kick him. Please, just use your reversal. Okay. He's gonna get, I think, all his life back here. So this is pretty big. Yeah, not quite all of it. Oh, good max confirmed. This is huge. Level one, level three? Okay. What's the Oki? What's the Oki? Runs up, 5C. Gets the double hit on close C. Oh, counter it. That could have been it. Mm, maybe not. Not enough, not enough meter, I don't think. Oh, wow. Wakes up with it. I think he used throw tech OSing. Or throw OSing. No, no, no techs in this game. Oh, huge. All right. The meter advantage is going to be felt quite a bit. But this is very doable still. Leona as a like pseudo guile function where, where she doesn't really have a sonic boom. Not gonna the reflex aren't gonna be super good. Doesn't get his super cancel. Oh, goes for the overhead. Oh that safe jumped. So meaty. Leon Ultimate's gotta gotta press his advantage here. Oh, that does it if he finishes it. Last time he missed the cancel. Doesn't miss it this time. That's going to be good enough. Bright side, 3-0 to make it back to Grants. Let's see. Let's see if he's you know feeling himself enough to to take the fight to James Jr. Or if this is going to be another pretty. I don't I don't want to say one-sided, but um, a decisive match for James Jr. James Jr. is. 
even even in the close ones, you can you sort of feel like he had it the whole time in KOF because he just he really does know this game in and out. And another question from James Jr. <laughs> Who's on the team this time? Last time uh, at, at Super Saturdays, I think he won, a, won also. If I remember correctly, he just put whoever on his team. He literally didn't even think about it. Yep. Cron Cronin McDonald's. Kyo? Oh, yeah, Shiro. Okay. The Mustard Yashiro. There's so many good approaches to colors in this game. You can you can make your team match with all one color. You can just pick the best color for each character. You can all default. Which are good designs. All right, Let's get, we're gonna get right into it. We got Cronin versus Benny Maru, if I'm not mistaken. Unless he switched it. Robert. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Robert. Okay. Oh, he goes for the dive kick right away and slightly misspaced. James Jr. misses the punish, but that's going to be fine. Oh, good throw. Good throw. Oh, it's not what he wanted. He wanted the fireball. Yep. Okay. DP. The Oki. Okay. Just runs up 6A. Tries to tries to catch him in your feet. Does anything. This'll do it. No? Not quite. I think he had a different route that would have done it, but it's okay. Ooh, JCD is so huge. It doesn't look like it either. The way they do the like um, the smears and wipes on this character's animations, so good because for most of them it's extremely clear where he's hitting you. Even though you know part of it is that he's resh reshaping his, his body to, to do the attacks, and then he does JCD and it's not clear at all where he's hitting you. <laughs> the only one that feels really awkward because it hits so far, so much further in front than it looks like it should. Yeah, that one barely, barely tapped him. Like. As the in-game announcer says, it's no time even evening up the score. And we're going to... didn't spend much meter in that, so he's only down one bar. Man. In this version, Yamazaki really just needs a couple more frames to hit Stein on his jump in. Feels like, like you just don't ever get a get a combo. Ooh, trade. Wow. Poison. Level two. Slams him into the ground. Kicks him around. Stomp? Yep. Kick him back out. Now he's dead to, to a lot of sequences. He he can get chipped out pretty easily here. Oh, whiffs the second hit. The second hit, I think I think the plan there was to chip him out with that. But he, James, uh, Brightside recognizes that he just needs to move forwards a little bit to get there. Oh, DP, huge, huge reversal. Absolutely, absolutely great uh, turn of events. Brightside manages to, to evade the chip sequence on the reversal, clutches it out there. That is so clean. Whiffing the dash punch into another one off of CD. Obviously, a lot of characters have an idea like that in KO. If we saw Leon Ultimate do it with Leona, but it is it is one of the most satisfying things in this game to me. Old throw. Go, goes to the overhead. Unpunishable at that range because she needs it. Hopping around. 
Nice. James, James Jr. could be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, quick max, really? He gets maybe another one? Oh, yep, yeah, and no super at the end because he spent it all. That definitely does not feel like a good situation to be quick maxing. Oh, wrong strength on one of them. I don't know whether it's the one he whiffed or the one he, went, he tried to hit with. Oh, empty jump throw. Wow. James Jr. manages to come through in, in the clutch. Push it to uh, push it to 1-0. Brightside just needs to take a second. I think, you know, if I'm Brightside, I think we're on the game's loading screen. But if I'm Brightside, I would take a second at that character results screen. Super important to think in the middle of a match. You definitely don't want to get caught. Oh no! And now he's in his head. Yeah, and he's just letting him get away with him now. Oh, he mashes on that one. Good. You, you, you can't just let him do that. Obviously, it's so scary because his DP is so good. But when he's when he's doing whatever he wants there, it's not it, not good for you. Oh wow, hops into it. The DP is so active. Good DP. Wow, tags him. JCD is so hard to fight back against, but if you tag him like that on your way out, not that bad. Oh, Shogokin. EX full projectile involved. Oh, I think that was supposed to be EX fireball, and that would have killed. Oh. Wow. He was looking for the DP. He, he knew he was at death's door. Any amount of chip would have done it. He's looking for the DP. EXDP from Cronin, so much involved. It would have definitely involved through uh, Robert's regular DP. Oh, yep. Just going to eat the fireballs. One of the, one of the things Yamazaki does best, I think, in this game is, is chucking that, that fireball back. Hits so many times. Goes back through another another one of the opponent's firewall. Wow! He didn't jump forward. He had the right read almost. Great DP. Oh, that's not the button you want to use to punish that. Gets through with it. Junior. Oh wow, does two real two quick ones. Oh now Wow. Good whiff punish. Counter. Oh my gosh, no! Zero frame. It's a command grab. Hits him with the full mash. This is not gonna kill, but what's the mix? Oh, full screen. This is this is exactly. Wow! Rolls right through it. That's a huge fireball. It's so tough to roll back through. I think the plan was for Brightside expecting him to roll forward, and he just didn't come to him. Not gonna get a lot of life back. Not too hard to finish off Yashiro here, but or um, Yamazaki here. But um, Elizabeth needs to save her meter for Yashiro, and uh, you know, getting in meterlessly is not. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but Yamazaki makes it tough. Have we got those? Aw, oh, that's the easy one. I won't hate though. Aw, oh, and this is exactly the situation you don't want to end up in. Oh my gosh, stance canceling, just saying, come over here, do it, do something. Bright side's gonna have about half of his health. He dies to any Yashiro hit, because Yashiro hits like a truck in this version. And he's gonna go into level two if he's got it. Any clean hit does it, anything into a combo. 
course, we're at that point where Elizabeth's gonna start doing that too. She's not she's not high damage carry last patch, but she's gonna do level two. Oh no! That was supposed to be level two into level three, and, and he dropped it. Oh no. Oh, he guard cancels. I don't think, I think he was super worried about the chip. I don't think that hits again there. So I think he was alive. Oh, that, oh no, 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 okay. He's unsure if that was three. Game, game one took four ever. No problems here. More KOF for us, but that was, a, that was a long, grueling game in game one. And game two, this is just one of those things that the people who are really good at their games do is, is even if you have a really close game one, they're going to dissect you, pick you apart, figure it out. What's making your game plan tick? How does it work? And then they'll, they'll get you from there. Right side, though, looking pretty solid here. Gets the gets a good lead. Oh, safe jumps it. No kill, but this is good damage. He, oh, is that a setup? See, I thought he he, he was whiffing his DP. You know, that, that's supposed to be a DP at the end there. But that looks like a safe jump, so maybe that's a setup. Punishable, got poison super, stomps, put him in the corner. Right side at half health. I think I think Yamazaki might be one of the characters who is most efficient at two touching because that poison does so much. Oh yep. Oh, good. Oh. Never mind. I thought that dive kick might be plus, but it hits just a little bit too high. So it looks like uh, you know he's gonna hold hold the pressure from Yamazaki. Yep. This is good. This is gonna finish it. And bright side's kind of in the driver's seat here, but. Let's see, let's see if James Jr. has something to say about that. Yashiro. Yashiro and Cronin, the two, the two sort of storied characters of this patch. Early on, it was, it was Yashiro's insane. Everybody should put Yashiro on all their teams. Yashiro's going to replace Gato. And, you know, he's, he's, the, the hype has calmed down a little bit, but James Jr. showing us that maybe, maybe it didn't need to. Yeah, Yashiro is really solid here. for another empty jump thing. This should do it. Level two. Oh no, level one into level three. All right. It's all over for you. What can Yashiro do about that? Nothing. Not his fault. Level two. No kill. It's anybody's, anybody's game right here. Good, good counter hit. Yeah, yeah so hard to avoid that. If you roll through, you're not gonna get a punish. It's gonna just gonna be closer to Benny. When you're at, when you are at risk of getting chipped and what you chip Benny out and he's got an Elizabeth? Good adjustment from bright side. Really dictating the pace in that, that one. Okay. Cronin, the other storied character of this patch. I think a lot of people have recognized this character as a little bit bananas. 
last patch, I thought I thought you know he kind of has has some stuff going on, but um, this patch they they've nerfed the guys who were real problems for Cronin. Not that he had that many, um, but you know it's a little tough to fight Gato, and um, Harry did did out damage you, but you know now the. That 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 five C our far senior uh, buff and the the two C has always been insane. He just gets to threaten you from so many ranges. It's really hard to fight to fight Cronin in this patch. Yep, that's gonna do it. No, not quite. But that is plus frames. Oh, okay. Dude, that DP is insane. It's so active. It looked like he walked right into it thinking he could punish it. In most games, you know, the, the risk the risk reward on wake up DPing is not in your favor, so you don't do it that much. But as Cronin, you condition them to let you wake up with buttons, which I mean every game, right? But the real the real benefit there is his his DP has a huge reward on hit, unlike most characters. Even in a game like Strive, where you can roam and cancel, like Soul is the exception there, but Cronin is the exception here. Guy gets to, to dump as much meter as he wants on, on uh, an EXTP. Ooh, wow, that was really good. Oh, huge punish. Yeah, level two. This will finish him, I think, with the stomps at the end. Doesn't even need him. James Jr. set point. It's all up to Brightside to finish this off with Elizabeth, or but he's gonna be we're gonna we're gonna be crowning another champion here at Super Saturday. Oh, oh! Great recognition of the counter hit. Quick Max makes that so easy. Oh, that's gonna do it. Bright side taking the fight to James Jr. It's anybody's game here. James Jr., set point. Bright side just fighting to stay alive. He's down, he's down one to two. Oh, great, great punish. Throw. Ooh, interesting. Back in the corner. What's James Jr. gonna do to get out? Pushes him back to mid-screen. Yashiro can just do that to you. Yashiro has way more meter. Oh, now any touch. Any touch in the max. Oh, no confirm, no confirm. He could have linked to level one, and that would have been level three, and that should have ended things, but here we are. On block? No, no confirm. Okay, guard cancels. Get off me. Throw break. Oh! The crowd is screaming, and I'm, I'm with them. This is crazy. The life advantage, Anybody, anybody's game. Oh, again, no, throw. Ooh, going in, oh! James Jr. with the with the wake up, DP, armored, not involved. It's gonna finish it out. That was insane, that was a great finish. Brightside was really catching on there. I think, he, I think he was, you know, if that set goes longer, I think, I think, um, Right side's gonna win a little bit more, but James Jr. 
managing to stay in control in that that really stressful anybody anybody's game situation is a testament to just how much he knows about this game. KOF, uh, you know, he's he's a legacy SNK player. I'm pretty sure he played some Sam Show Five, Sam Show Four. I don't know which one. Played played some old Sam Shows. Played some old coughs. These guys, uh, these guys are really, really liking this game right now. KOF is one of those, one of the only big games right now, where the people at the top are all legacy players of just that franchise. You know. Um, but I think we're gonna be calling it here. Got another game coming up for you soon. That is uh, Tree Fighter Five. Um, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hopping off. You're gonna get some t two new combinators in what 20 minutes? Five minutes? Time? Are we over time? Oh, we're Street Fighter's almost done. You're gonna get some guys to commentate like two matches, three matches. Um, I'll be hopping off. Uh, enjoy Street Fighter and uh, stay tuned into Super Saturdays Deluxe.